Okay, what I'm going to be showing you here is how to do um, a bar graph where you have two bars and we're going to be showing the average um, heart rate in a supine, so lying on your back, and average heart rate in a standing position. Um, so what we have here is just um, a bunch of uh, participant data. So this is actually um, real participant data from some students that I've had do this on each other, just practicing heart rates. Um, and you have um, people 1 through 24 right here, and we have, the, again, the supine heart rate and the standing heart rate. Um, so what we need to do in order to do a, a simple bar graph in Excel, and there's probably mul multiple ways of doing this, but the easiest thing that you can do is to set up a little table off to the side that's going to have average values as well as uh, labels for each bar. Um, so first let's start by just making the label. So we already have what we would want them to be. So we have the standing and um, supine heart rates. And it's probably redundant to have heart rate in under each bar. So let's just have it be supine and standing. Um, so I'm just going to come over here, um, just anywhere, let's do it right there and put um, supine. And then in the next, uh, the next column over, I will put standing. And now what we're going to do is do some simple um, average calculations. And so in order to do an average calculation, anytime you do a calculation in Excel, um, you're going to be starting with the equal sign. And then um, with an average, you just type average. And you'll see it starts to pop up here. Um, so Excel is looking for um, some set formulas that already has programmed in. Um, so we'll go ahead and double click that and it's going to finish the word average and put an open parenthesis there for us. Um, so now we need to tell it what numbers to average. Um, and since we're in the supine column um, or under the supine heading, we're going to start and we're just going to highlight all 24 of these supine heart rates. And then we'll just end it by putting an, uh, an end parenthesis and hitting enter to, to get out of that cell. So the average heart rate in the supine position was 60 beats per minute. Okay, and now we'll do the exact same thing in the standing position. So again, equals average, highlight all the values for standing, end parenthesis, and then enter. So our average values um, for supine was, were, was 60 beats per minute. The average values for standing is 67 beats per minute. And then all we need to do in order to create a, a very simple bar graph is highlight all those um, uh, those four cells that we've put information into go to inserts and this is going to vary slightly depending on the type of excel you're using so if you're using uh, excel 2010 or if you're using mac excel it's going to be slightly different um, but they're all somewhat similar so hopefully you can follow along with your version of excel um, so uh, again incel, uh, insert and then go to um, i want to do vertical bar graphs the one that looks like vertical bars and I like to keep it pretty simple. I don't like any of these special effects here. Um, so I'm just going to do the simple bar graph. So I click it and here is my graph. Um, so we probably want to put some sort of chart title in that is um, somewhat descriptive. I prefer to use chart titles that aren't, uh, that isn't information that's already on one of the Y or X axes. Um, so that can be a little tricky to do. How about we just put um, cardiac response to orthostasis. So, in other words, how your heart rate or how your heart is going to respond to standing up, orthostasis meaning standing up. Um, so that is our, our chart title. Let's put a y-axis label on here since it doesn't have one. So we're going to add chart elements, um, axis titles, and then I am doing a primary vertical axis. And so that adds in this little box here and we can type into that heart rate. And then usually what you want to do when you're working with um, scientific data and making graphs uh, of that data is put um, your units in parentheses. So the units here would be beats per minute and then end parentheses. And so this is just a very simplistic graph at this point, but it gets the, the job done, it gets the point across. Uh, again, you have your supine, your standing blood pressure, oh, sorry, supine and standing heart rate, and you have your units uh, labeled with what it is, 
in some sort of descriptive graph title that's not information that's being just repeated from the y and x axis. It's pointless in my opinion to uh, simply put heart rate during supine and standing as your, your title for your graph because we already know that by looking at the x and y axes. So let's say though that you wanted to change um, these uh, uh, this x and excuse me this y axis um, what you can do is you can click on it and then at least in the Excel uh, for Windows you just right click that so once you have the axis highlighted you right click it and you go down to format access and so right now it's set for the minimum um, uh, boundary of the, the y-axis to be at 56 so we can see that right here that that number is 56 and the top number is 68 and you can see that right here so if you wanted to change this for some reason let's say you just like nice round numbers um, you can make this 50 and you can make this uh, 70 and you can see that the graph changes according to whatever you put in it um, and so uh, there's various reasons why you might want to do that if you're trying to accentuate um, the, the data in some way or to, to sort of show a point um, that the values are different, maybe you'd want to do that. Or if you want to do the opposite and show that they're not different, you might want to do that uh, where you would change it so that the numbers come a little closer on sort of visual inspection. Uh, of course, some people are or are not a fan of doing that, um, but I sort of view it as you should make the data look like whatever your statistics tell you because your statistics are what the data is. And we'll talk about statistics in another video. So, all right, thank you.